we're going to briefly discuss solving matrix equations. And we're going to do this as a black box algorithm. And what I mean by that in particular is that we are going to learn how to do it in our calculator and not to worry about what our calculator is doing under the hood. If you want to know the mathematical details, you can learn them in a linear algebra class. We'll demonstrate this method via example. Suppose you have a matrix equation that you want to solve. Step one is going to be to create something called the augmented matrix. And the augmented matrix is going to be formed by taking this matrix and taking this vector on the right of the equal sign and smushing them together into a single matrix. Now, every row of this augmented matrix means something, and every column of this augmented matrix means something. Each row of the augmented matrix corresponds to an equation. Equation one, equation two. The columns of the augmented matrix correspond to these variables, these unknown variables, x1 and x2, that make up the unknown vector x. The first column corresponds to x1. The second column corresponds to x2. What about the third column? We are out of variables. The third column corresponds to equality. So for example, this first row, I say it corresponds to an equation. In particular, it corresponds to the equation 1, x1, 1, x1, plus 2, x2, equals Four. And the second row also corresponds to an equation. And now we're going to hit this matrix with a black box algorithm, or what is for us a black box algorithm. Called Gauss, Jordan, Elimination. We do this on our calculator. I'll show you how to do it in, on your calculator at the end of this video. But when you perform this black box 
Facebook's algorithm, what you get is this. Now, this matrix, just like this matrix, has rows corresponding to equations and columns corresponding to variables, except for the last column, which corresponds to equality. When we write down these equations, though, something nice happens. When we write down the equations, we find that they are so simple that we can solve them in our head. X1 plus zero X2 equals this fraction. So X1 equals this fraction. Zero X one plus one X two equals this fraction. So X two equals this fraction. And of course, this was our goal. We were trying to find this unknown vector X. We've now found its first component, and we've found its second component, and so we are done. But how did I go from here to here on my calculator? Well, it requires a few more button presses than might be ideal, but we're going to go into this matrix menu. You see matrix, the word matrix in blue here. So our calculator is color coded. We press the blue button, then that to get us into our matrix menu. And we need to store this matrix in our calculator. We're going to use these arrow buttons to go over to edit. It doesn't matter where we store this matrix. Let's put it here. I am now going to press the enter button. Our calculator asks us how big the matrix we are storing is. Well, it's got two rows and three columns. So it's two, press the enter button by three. And now I'm going to just enter this matrix into the calculator. I'm pressing the enter button to confirm these entries. And we are done here. And we're going to quit out. So second mode brings us back to the main screen. Now we're going to go back into this menu. I'm going to scroll over to math, and we're going to scroll down a ways until we find R-R-E-F. 
this black box algorithm is putting our matrix into what's known as reduced row echelon form, hence that particular string of letters. We press enter. Back to the matrix menu. You see that this matrix, we now have something. We've stored our matrix as A. We select A. We press enter. And our algorithm runs. Of course, what you see on the screen, on the screen, is different from what you see on the paper, but that's just because I didn't like these ugly decimals. So I um, went to the math menu and I converted into fractions. And that's all we're going to say about um, solving matrix equations in this class. Again, this is material that math majors learn how to do, but for the details, you need to take a linear algebra class.